So a few weeks back, I released my lo-fi EP Dreamscape. One of the tracks on Dreamscape was Crowded, and today I will be showing you how I created Crowded. Now this will be more of a tutorial on how to make lo-fi using nothing but the sounds and synths uh, that Logic provides. There will be no free plugins from any outside sources or anything like that. It'll all strictly be Logic. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the chords on the keys. The chords are going to be in the scale of D natural minor. Now the sound of the keyboard right now is just an electric piano, but it will be changed later on. Next, I'm going to take the chords from the piano and make a simple bass line using the fingerstyle bass synth. Now, after I come up with something, I'm pretty much going to keep the rhythm and just change the notes to make it fit within each chord. Uh, but it's going to be something that is relaxing, soothing, and you know, but still kind of pushes the drive, pushes the feel. So next is going to be the drums. Now when it comes to drums, you have multiple options. I typically use the drum kit, which I'm going to use for this, but there's also a drum synth that is actually uh, in Logic that actually has like more drum sounds than anything, but there's tons of like electronic and realistic sounding drums that you can use within Logic. So I'm going to just use one of the more realistic sounds and just come up with a nice basic drum pattern that just adds to the overall feel of everything and you know maybe a little bit of a fill here and there. So now I'm just going to add a little more of a percussive element to this just to add a little bit more of a dreamy, relaxing feel to it. Just something to really fill out more of the sounds that are needed. All these sounds are in a percussive patch uh, that again is within Logic. So next, I took a flute MIDI and made a melody with it. I went about it the same way I went to making the bass line, by just overlaying notes over the chords to make sure that they were staying within chords to make sure I wasn't getting any too harsh of notes. A tip when writing the melodies is just to uh, make sure that when you land on downbeats or like long notes, make sure that it is a chord note, but make, you can have chromatic and passing notes in between all that stuff. Within Logic, there is a synth plugin called Alchemy that has uh, old fragile vinyl keys, which pretty much adds like a vinyl effect to the keys, kind of creating a more uh, 
vinyl feel to everything, at least to the keys. You know, since we're not using any other sounds or any other plugins, this is a good way to get the sound. I also lowered the attack a little bit so it kind of did a quick little fade in. So typically to give my drums a little extra oomph, I take all the tracks, separate them, EQ the different instruments separately and give them a little bit of a compression. And then I put them in a stereo bus where I do like a group compression, a group EQ and a group reverb to really just tie together, kind of bring them up a little more, but it helps so much. Something that I would highly recommend. So the last thing I do typically is arrange. Now when I arrange, I kind of like bring stuff in little bit by little bit to like really build it up. And sometimes I have everything together. Uh, but you know, when I arrange, when I make other sections, I tend to take some stuff out, change some rhythms, one like something like that to make it a little more interesting. But I keep all the notes and the same. So it's not like it's changing too much. It's more of a rhythm thing. There is one optional step that I did for this one. There is a fade tool within Logic that you can use to like spin down, spin up, fade out volume wise and fade up. Or you can do like a cross thing where it fades, spins down from one and fades into or spins up to another, which I did in the middle of this. And I used for a few other tracks in the EP and the beginning of this one. It's not something you have to do, but it is a cool thing to do if you want.